Jim, can you describe the current growth of the wine importing business um, in terms of sales in the Asian marketplace right now? The big question is, is the, the potential growth. You know, the, the population of Asia is huge. Uh, obviously, you know, if you were to include India and China, you've got almost three billion people. I mean, you get 40% of the world's population. These are people who, uh, you know, enjoy life. They drink beer or they drink local drinks or whatever. And wine is now becoming a, a more a popular drink. Wine is a social drink. It's a mild drink. Women can drink it as much as men. So all of these winemakers around the world are going to probably focus much more on Asia. Jim, how can U.S. wineries now capitalize on the opportunity in Hong Kong to both expand their businesses and their trade? The other wine producing countries have got a bit of a head start. The French obviously have been there for a long time and that's partly in Hong Kong at least, it's partly because uh, the British were more in tune with French wines. The Australian and the New Zealand wines uh, you know, are closer. There are American wines there and they've, some have been there for a while. But I don't think the American wine industry has actually been uh, as aggressive as they should be in internationalizing their brands. They have to go there, they have to get a, a, a wine uh, merchant who will, to some degree, push their wine. They have to have the inventory there, so it's a bit of a commitment they have to make. And we certainly have excellent wines here in California. They, they can find a big position for their wines in Hong Kong and Asia and, and certainly the China market. I think it's a great move what Hong Kong did by reducing the taxes. What are your thoughts though on other countries adopting that same philosophy? So the government gave up some tax revenue by what, taking the step they have, but they're probably going to see the creation of, of, a, of an industry, a wine industry in Hong Kong, from which much will spring out throughout the whole region. If the tariffs on wine, the tax on wine was reduced in more and more countries, it would be spread all over the place. And I think that that's something that really should happen. I, I really hope it does. Thank you so much for your time. Jerry, it was an absolute pleasure chatting with you.